Hey doodles, it's the Merv here, and I'm kind of like testing out, I've got this, you no know, boom thing, oh, there we go, we're getting sway a little bit, um, so, bear with, so, um, yeah, today I thought I'd show you how I'm getting on with using the polychromos, and, yeah, uh, how I've been blending them, I don't know if it's the right way or the wrong way, but this is how I'm getting on with them anyway. Um, I'm actually really liking them. So I'm just going to show you how I've been doing this here in the Peacock. This is um, Hannah Carlson's Daydreams book. And this is the <laughs> double page spread I decided to take on for February. And uh, yeah, I, I think I was a little bit um, ambitious. Very ambitious. Because this has taken me a long time. Um, I'm obviously quite slow at colouring in, but... Anyway, I'll show you what I've been doing. So this uh, Polychromos pencil colour here is Emerald Green, which is number 163. And I've been keeping my point as sharp as possible, but I've still got that fear of wasting my pencils by sharpening them too much. Um, but I have got a particular pencil sharpener that's been making me feel all right about it. I'll just show you that now. Um, it's a M and R one, and you can just sharpen your lead in this one. Um, this one, I think, is just to sharpen the wood, and then you've got your standard sharpener on it. So I've been finding that quite useful. So anyway, when I'm shading these peacock feathers, what I've been doing is I've just been doing it a little bit harder around the edge or well, not harder but um more layers more intense I suppose is the words you would use and so I just do that just up to the midway of this peacock eye part of the feather or well, that's what I call it anyway I don't know what you would call it don't even know if it's got a name maybe that is the name um so I just go like this hopefully you can see Get my big hand out the way. Gotta remember that my hand is not see-through. So I go like that. And then I've just been working in little tiny circles, circular motions, like so. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do it how I normally would and have a little wee chat to you. So, um, um, my favorite word. I've been doing very quick, kind of, I suppose, boring, maybe, p perhaps, uh, especially for you who are subscribed to me for uh, art and drawing. Um, I haven't been uploading anything of that nature. Um, I've just been uploading flip throughs and stuff at the moment. I decided to kind of pull back from my YouTube channel a little bit at the moment. Uh, what's been happening is I've been spending like maybe six hours in a day working on a video, editing the crap out of it and posting it and I'm only getting a handful of views anyway. Um, so I've been looking for ways to just do, sorry my daughter's doing the dishes in the background so if that's noisy I'm sorry. Um, so I've been just looking for ways to do quick, easy videos at the moment because I'm spending a lot of time um, trying to get my website up and running. I've got myself a little um, WordPress website. So I've been working on that. I've also made a Facebook group. Um, I haven't really launched it or anything. There's nothing really going on in there at the moment, but that's for people to share what they've been up to and that kind of thing. So obviously with these things, they would take time to grow and stuff. So yeah, there's that. So I've been working on bits and pieces like that. I've been trying to um, get a lot of administrative type stuff, we will call it done, uh, because I just feel like I need to catch up on a lot of things. I was just, I got so um, 
kind of wrapped up in trying to grow my community on YouTube that I've just kind of lost sight of having fun and with with art and it just it's just been taking me an incredible amount of time to learn all these YouTube type things and that and it sucked the fun out of it for me so I've just stepped back a bit I'm just trying to make videos that are easier that I don't really have to edit and just you know get something up just so I'm not uh inconsistent I don't know if that's going to harm things or not but I thought I would explain at least just in case anybody is wondering um so I, I just kind of needed to detach myself from worrying about numbers and that kind of thing um because it shouldn't matter so I'm also wanting to spend more time uh drawing and that kind of thing so I, I will get around to videoing that um I'm just trying to clean up if that makes sense trying to get myself a good routine of what I'm doing and what I'm up to um probably trying to build my other social media up a little bit too so that's what I've been up to so in the hopes that once I've got over this little break um because behind the scenes as well I'm videoing other things uh so that I've kind of got a like a uh, backlog of stuff scheduled to come out later so hopefully uh you can bear with uh so this one here is light puffalo green if that's how you say it 162 um so because I've got my base layer down of the emerald green now I'm just going to come in with that one and you'll see how far back and in, into this color I bring it so same thing little circles and it seems that this is just how easy it is to blend the polychromos so yeah I'm just trying to keep myself organized I suppose at the start I was just like I need to learn how to use YouTube <laughs> so I was just working videos together learning listening to people's comments for example if you're one of the people who have watched my um two thousand dollar haul video you know I was I I call them jump cuts I was jump cutting everywhere um on my software because I only use iMovie I can't afford to pay for a software um and I can't be bothered learning something complex like DaVinci Resolve at this moment I just don't have the time or I don't want to allocate the time to that yet I don't think there's a point um it's not like I have thousands of subscribers or anything like that if I did I'd probably take the time um with the iMovie it's called the is it um full cut cut I don't know I can't remember anyway I'll insert it here so I you know I made mistakes people commented on it they said oh I can't watch it I'm getting too dizzy because of all the jumping around and stuff so I learned from that and stopped doing that so much as soon as I saw those comments if you get what I mean so been learning a lot of things I need to sharpen this pencil a little bit so I'll just show you how this little hopefully you can see that I think you should be able to otherwise this is going to be a waste of a video but I just go like this and it just sharpens up the lead without doing much of anything to the pencil so um yeah I'm just I don't know <laughs> I've just got a few things that I need to sort out and feel so I can feel like I've caught up because I feel like I'm a little bit swamped under with it and um I want to be able to feel like I can make better content so please be aware of it at the moment uh, it won't stay like this 
but in saying that I'm learning so so much from colouring and other people's artwork I think if you're afraid of colouring um, your own artwork and that kind of thing definitely the way to um, feel more comfortable with it and to get used to whatever medium you're using like these polychromos for example feel very different to any other pencil I've used and they are very enjoyable um, but you know you need to spend time with these things to get used to them so yes so I'm spending more time doing stuff that makes me feel calm and rela relaxed and I don't know just some feel-good stuff rather than like stressing out over sitting there editing for six hours a day kind of thing it's just been doing my head in a little bit so kind of stepping back in a sense but not entirely while still working on all sorts of things in the background so yeah that's what's been going on for me just trying to take stock and reassess and actually come up with a direction a proper direction you know rather than being all over the place because I hate how I've been inconsistent with like um my little drawing tutorials I mean they don't they don't don't get a lot of views and that's fine um but that's re really the kind of thing that I actually really like doing so now I'm moving to my lightest color which is light green 171 so yeah and I, I I need to take time to learn to do things um, myself which are things that I can't really do videos about so usually I go like this and just brighten it up around the edge a bit And then in with the circles some more. And it seems to look really nice. So yes, I've got so many things that I really want to do and stuff. But I kind of just, like, I need to make a plan. And I need to schedule it for myself. And work out how I'm going to learn certain things. And whether I want to share that entire process or not. And all of that kind of thing. And I need time to do my own drawings and stuff and I've just been so focused with getting a like daily video out or whatever that I just I don't know I guess I kind of in a sense already burnt myself out a little bit with it or mentally burnt myself out with it just like ah, oh, this is not fun <laughs> so yeah so I think um let me see. I go around here as well, just to brighten up around the eye. And just look how nice it when you've I, th I think it's when you've got the right colours together, perhaps, or maybe not. I haven't really explored too many colour combinations or anything like that yet. But it just seems whenever you lay a different colour of polychromos down, you can really still see it. It doesn't get lost in the other colors so much unless you want it to kind of thing it's just i'm really blown away by these pencils to be honest so i'm just extra layers extra vibrancy And then I bring the turquoise in over the green again, the light green. Is it light green? Yep. Is this turquoise? I don't even know what I'm talking about. The light fellow green, which looks turquoisey to me when it's by itself. As I said in another video, I've got some weird crap going on with my eyes and how it recognises colours.
So just slowly building up the pigment. So it takes me a very long time to color, coloring this way, but it looks nice. So, or I feel it does. You let me know where you think it looks like poo below. <laughs> And then back over with the light green again. And then I'll go back in here with some more emerald green. Time to intensify that a bit. Around the edges again. Now I'm increasing the pressure a little bit too, just so it works in there a bit more. I'd say about this is about a medium pressure for me. And then I'm just going to sharpen my green and then coming in with the light buffalo green again now I've just changed the way I'm using my pencil to little lines just to try and get some more color into the turf of the paper because of well I believe because I've done so many of the little circles you can't really see the lines all right then coming in with my light green again With medium pressure this time as well. Using my little circles again. Going over more times in areas where I want more of that green to pop out. Now for here it's not really getting into the tooth too much so I'm just going to do my little lines and try and get it in there. So this wee peacock is turning into quite the labour of love. <laughs> I think getting good results with coloured pencils is just down to patience really, so far. Back in with the light buffalo green, just in here. Scrub it in a bit. And then back over with the light green again. Put in little circles. And then this time I'm going to bring some light green down in through here. Give it a little bit of a brighten up. That's the idea anyway. Seems to work. Right now, how we're we looking pretty good, but I want to get the colour more intense down here. But what I'll do is I will start by intensifying the emerald down here a little bit more. And now, because I feel that I've got enough of a base there I can be a little bit more lazy or haphazard with my pencils I also want to intensify it on this side a little bit to kind of look like there's a bit of shadowing going on so I'm going medium to hard now just to 
to really get that color in there. How's that looking? Sometimes it's hard to tell from the light reflecting on it. So I'll just bring that down through there. Alright, so getting in more intense now. Sorry about my big hand, just for a second. Right, now, back with the light green down here for the, I'd like to call it a little bit of a glow around the eye. And again, medium to hard pressure at the moment. And then, back with my light pithello green, a bit of intensity around here, with the medium to heavy pressure again, but not too heavy, because I still want to be able to get a little bit more colour down. There's a couple of little dots in the tooth that are pissing me off here, but I can't seem to get rid of them. And then I want to intensify it through here. Just little movements, but the pencil seems to make it less noticeable. Probably just using a like medium pressure right now because I don't want this color to be too intense because I want that light green over it again. Soften out the emerald, hopefully, a little. It's just amazing. I Feel with these polychromas how much colour you can build up. They're just lovely to work with. Very quickly at this point becoming my favourite pencil but we'll see if that changes. And then, just a final go over with the green, the light green. So now I'm just like medium pressure. time with this because I feel like it's a little bit too green now. Well, light green, green. Yeah, does that look pretty good? Give it a dust off. And there you have it! <laughs> Thanks, Jojo. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I've been discovering with the polychromos pencils. Anyway, until next time, keep on doodling. <laughs>